What's going on guys, TJ here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are going to be unboxing the July MTB Pro Box and at the end of this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little sneak peek at the future DIY project we're going to be doing together on this channel. So stick around. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you watching. Uh, let's unbox this July Pro Box. Usually I take and I look on Google at people who's already unboxed it and I know what I'm getting. This month, that's not the case. I haven't sneaked and peeked at anybody else that's done one of these. So I'm gonna be just as surprised as you guys when I open this up and we're gonna check everything out. And like I said in the beginning of this video, Towards the end of this video, I'm going to talk about the next DIY project that's going to be super cool that we're going to do together. Got a lot of requests about it. I've also got another DIY project that I've already done. I'm just in the middle of trying to get it edited and up to you guys. And I've got a camping trip and, and, and I got all this really cool stuff coming. But I've also got a camping trip coming up. It's going to be another kayak camping trip. Should be happening this weekend, maybe Friday the 13th. I don't know. I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, that's, that's going to be coming up the next couple weeks. Make sure you stick around. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And let's get into unboxing this mystery tackle box. I'm excited to see what we got this month. All right, so I moved you guys a little bit closer to my bench so you could see the unboxing a little bit better. I'm gonna squat down so I can be on here with you guys. I haven't peeked yet. I usually peek uh, on Instagram and stuff when other people unbox them, but let's see what we got. This is the Bass Brock. The, this is the MTB Pro Bass Box. Uh, Let's see what we got. First off, we have a massive swim bait. Check that out. Let's see if I can focus on it. Look how big the swim bait is. It's huge. I mean, that's like, look, look at the size of my hand. I'm working on this focus for you guys. That is a massive swim bait. It's by Weston. It's got a treble hook on bottom and a hook on top. We're gonna have to open this up. Holy crap, look at the size of this swim. Wow, it is soft plastic. It's, it's got a treble hook on the bottom. Let me see if I can focus on this for you. A little bit better. Ooh. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Check that out. Look at the size of this swim bait. It's got a hook on top. Look at it compared to my hand. That is massive. It's made by Weston. That is really, really cool. I'm definitely going to use that. That'd be a good uh, good lure to use for Gunnersville because the bass out there is so freaking massive. All right, let's see what else we got. We have saw crawl juiced with stank. Check that out. It says juiced with stank saw crawl. And these are like some big old crawfish. Woo! Oh my God. Oh, I wish y'all had smell -o vision These are juiced with stank. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, they're and they're even in another sealed up container and I can still smell it. All right, let me show you what these look like. This is a lot. This is a bunch of stuff we got this month. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven in here and man, they look really, really good. I don't think I'm gonna pull them out of here because they smell really bad. I mean, I'm sure the, whew, goodness gracious, I'm gonna put these back in here. They wasn't lying when they said they're juiced with stank. They look really good though. I'll definitely be using these. Crawfish, man. I love fishing. That video where me and my son went on the overnight camping trip, uh, I caught my record bass out of that watershed. And when I pulled it up, it had a mouth, I caught it on a buzz bait, but it had a mouthful of crawfish when I pulled it up. So I'll probably be trying these out up there. So that is cool. Man, this is a lot of lures this month. A lot of tackle. Yum! Red flake watermelon. I think that's the best that yum makes right there. And I probably already have a pack. I bet it's in my, it's probably on my, tack, on my kayak right now, but I've got a couple packs of these. These are like my favorite. And this is the Dinger. Really good. If you don't, if you don't use yum, I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna open. I hate opening a pack when I know I've got a pack somewhere else open, but I'll open them for you guys. 
That is a really good, you'll make some really good stuff. Let's see if I can focus on it for you. Look at that, watermelon flake. It's got the recessed spot for your hook already on it. Man, boy, them, them saw crawls, they were stank. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a crankbait, and it's one of my favorite colors. This is a Norman Lures, two to five foot, so it's a shallow diver. I'm not gonna open it because I got, I got several of these, so this is going to be one of my backups. And this is really good too because I fish a lot of shallow water, especially when they're coming off bed and stuff. And it's got a square bill at the front of it too. That is a really good lure. It's really cool. I hope this is all staying focus, focus, focus. All right, sorry. All right, next we have, this is called the runt. This is pretty cool. Check this out. It's called the runt. I'm not sure exactly. Let's open this one up. Slow sinking. It's by Catchco, which you know, anything by Catchco is going to be good. It's got rattles in it, treble hook on the front. It's got a little bill. This thing looks cool as crap. I do not have one of these. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Check that out. Look at the color. And it's kind of see-through. It's got a treble hook and it's got a little rooster tail on the back treble hook, treble hook on the front. It's got a little bill. Look at this. The colors look really good. That's cool as heck, man. This looks really, really good. This is awesome. I really like this. Uh, make sure like, this, you see, we're, we're only halfway through this box. If you don't subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box and you don't have a subscription, get one. I'm putting a link in the video description of this video. You're getting like $40 worth of lures sent to your door every month for about 25 bucks. And it's stuff that's hot. And all of this stuff is good stuff. All right, next we got another catch coat, and it's called the flipping jig. And it looks like it's a brown, black, and red glitter. And flipping jigs is hot right now. There we go. Look at that. This is really cool, man. This is a good box. This, this is a really good box this month. And I hope that camera's focusing in and out like it's supposed to be. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. All right, let's see what's next. So we got a jig. Look at, dude, they load. I knew this box felt heavy. All right, so now we're gonna get something that I have no idea what it is. This is called pegs. If y'all know what this is, leave a comment because I don't. We're gonna have to read the back to see. It's called pegs. It's like a little, I don't know, plastic thing with a bunch of wires on it to see. All right, it says pegs are like the tidy whities of fishing gear. They kind of keep everything in place just put one of these on your line above your bullet weight, then slide it right against the weight to keep it snug. Happy fishing. What? So is it just the, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research on this. If you know what this thing is, let me know because I've never seen one before in my life. Let's set that to the side for now because I'm gonna have to do some Googling on that too because I'm kind of curious on what that is. All right. Next we have, we're still opening stuff out of this month's box. We got brush bands. This is by Big O. Big O's, brush guard splitters. Okay, so these just go, this is just a, the, those bands that you use to split your brush guards on like jigs, flipping jigs and stuff like that. And it shows you exactly how to use it on the back if you're wanting to spread out your, your, your fan a little bit bigger or depending on how you want your action to go. So you could use this on this. So everything they send you kind of goes hand in hand together. Uh, then let's see, we got, we got this week, this month sticker, Slappy J. Finley, Lake County. It's a little sticker. They send a cool little sticker every month. The stickers are kind of cool. Like some of them are really cool. I'll put on the back of my truck. This one's probably just going to end up on the wall in here. And then you got your your dibble, it's tips and tricks. It tells you everything. It tells you how much the lures that they sent you for that much cost each, and you can kind of figure them all up and, and learn about how to fish with each lure. Everything they send you is really cool. So, I mean, they sent all of this this month. You got top water, got young. Everything is like name brand and good stuff. And I've got to look this little pegs thing up. I've never used it before. I have to see what that is. And that swim jig is freaking massive. I can't believe how big that is. All right, so that is the box for July. I mean, 
packed out. If you don't have a subscription to Mystery Tackle Box and you've never tried it, try them out. I'm going to have a link in the video description. Click the link, it'll take you there. Check it out. They've got different size boxes, different species of fish. If you don't want a bass fish, if you're into crappy fishing, they send you lures specifically to what you're wanting to do. So check them out. Uh, you, you won't regret it. I love getting their boxes every month and I use every single lure that they send me. Okay, so now here's the part that I wanted to share with you guys. I released a video, a few days ago I released a video, and it's old footage of a, man it's hot in here, it's an old, it's old footage of a project that I've done back in 2010, and I feel like, I know I probably wasn't the first, but I was close to being the first to putting a trolling motor on the back of a kayak and if you haven't seen that video it's just it's a really crappy quality i got some bad comments on it on facebook you know even though i put hey sorry this is old videos crappy quality but i found it on my desktop the other day and i forgot that i had videoed myself making or not really making it just showing the final product and me on the water playing around in it if you haven't seen the video i'll link it somewhere right in here and i'll link it at the end of this video Check it out, it's like a three minute video and it shows you what I plan to do to our next project. Uh, I tell you what, the next project I'm fixing to show you, I uh, had someone donate me a kayak just for kind of me to do some DIY stuff with. And I thought, what the heck, let's build a kayak with a motor on it and we'll do the full steering system and everything. I can make a couple of really cool videos out of it. You guys can kind of give me info along the way and that's how we'll do it. So right now it's, it's an old kayak, it's, not, it's nothing new, it's, it's not a vibe or anything like that, but it's a pretty decent kayak I think we can turn into a really cool tricked out, I don't know, something cool. I mean we'll still be able to fish out of it, you know I'm still going to fish out of my vibe of course, but this is going to be a cool project if you're thinking about putting a motor on a kayak. We can do this together. You know, you can fill me in on what you think and I can build it. I'll get the trolling motor and I'll use a lot of the stuff and knowledge that I took out of my last build in 2010 and I'll kind of apply it to this one. And you guys can help me out along the way and we can get this thing done. But right now, I'm going to take you guys off the tripod. I've got the kayak propped up against the back of the house and we're just going to walk back here and check it out. Let's go see it. All right. Let's get out here. I got it propped up against the back of the house. I still got to clean it. I think it's going to be pretty neat, but I'm going to try to give you guys a good shot of it. I think it's an old perception. This is it right here. Let me focus in on it a little bit. This is it right here. My brother actually donated this kayak and it's old and it's a, it's a sit on top kayak. Let's flip it over. Oh. But here it is. This is what we're going to do. This is a perception sport. Oh, I just had a hornet come out of the back of my camper that wasn't cool now I'm gonna have to spray that let's drag this thing out <laughs> I don't want to get stung let's get out here in the sun where you guys can see it ah uh, okay sorry that was loud okay but this is it and I've got plans what what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna put a better seat on uh, we're gonna DIY this whole kayak out. We're going to rig up a, a little angle back here somehow and we're gonna have it, I'm gonna have it so I can drop a trolling motor up and down to get it in and out of the water, out of the way. We're gonna put a battery maybe up front to even the weight out. I don't know, there's a ton of really cool things that we can do to this boat. If you're watching this video and you have some ideas, put them in the comment section of this video down here at the bottom somewhere. But this is what we got. It is, this is called a Perception Sport Caster 12.5. So it's a 12 and a half foot kayak. Uh, my brother used it pretty hard for a few years, so it's scratched up. But I mean, it's not bad. It's not gonna sink on us. And I think this would be really cool. I kind of want to figure out how to put a newer model seat on where we're high rised but I'm, I'm kind of worried about how it's going to tip. We might even have to put us some of those outriggers on this thing and really hook this boat up. But I think it's going to be really cool. It's going to be really fun to do with you guys. That was kind of a hint I did the other day uh, when I posted that old, old footage of me of the kayak that I built. And now we're going to do this one together. All right, so that, that's pretty cool, huh? What do you think? That's, I think that'll be a fun build. We're gonna put a motor on it. We can put outriggers on it. And this can just be like a Kayak USA 
mod kayak of everything we can freaking think to do. Any PVC that like DIYs that we can do that's gonna benefit the kayak. What we're wanting to do is I think the, the end goal is to have as many cool DIYs done to this kayak with like, I don't know, the trolling motor, outriggers, a high seat, maybe a live well. I want it to be a really fun, really cool build that we can go back to and kind of use you, your guys' input along with mine. And we kind of just, you know, when I, when I make a video and you see that you think that I should have done something different or something, or you got a cool idea, in those videos you'll be able to comment, I'll respond back, we'll work together, and we'll build this really awesome kayak that I think is going to be fun. And then we'll make a video of the voyage and never know, I might give this away to one of you guys. So after we get it built, you know, I, I, I'm, I might keep it for a little while, but the future plan is, is we're going to build this thing together and then I'm probably just going to give it to one of you uh, subscribers. So make sure if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon next to it. That way you get notified as soon as I go live or I up, uh, upload a new video. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe to Mr. Tackle Box, use the link in this description. Check it out. Check out my DIY videos. Make sure you visit my kit.com page. It's, uh, it's in the very top of the video description. I put it in the top of all my video script descriptions. So if you see anything that I have or I use in the DIY project, if you go to that page, I've got links that'll take you directly to where I bought that product and you can check it out, maybe get it for yourself. I appreciate you watching. I'm super excited for everything. Oh, and I forgot to mention, don't go away, don't, don't click in yet. I forgot to mention, we just hit 5,000 subscribers today. 5,000 subscribers. That blows my mind. I never in a million years thought that I would hit 5,000 subscribers. So it's thanks to you guys for sticking around, showing me some support. We're shooting for 10K by Christmas. That's a goal. I'm laying it down right now. I want 10,000 subscribers by Christmas. And if you can help me by sharing and liking my videos, make sure you do that. Share my videos. Get them out there. Let's see if we can build this channel up so maybe where I can start really doing some good and maybe spending more time and, and more money and putting it into this channel for you guys. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to end this video right here. You guys have a nice day and I'll catch you next time.